Hi, my name is Sean with TNW, and today we'll be changing out the trigger on your ASR lower. To begin this process, you're going to need a few tools, including a pair of vice grips, ball peen hammer, flathead punch, two flathead screwdrivers, a non marring block to push your C clips in. You will also need your repair parts, which include your trigger, sear disconnect spring, sear disconnect, your trigger spring, hammer, hammer spring, and your retaining pins. Alright, so let's get started. Now the first step in taking apart your trigger housing will be removing these C-clips. And to do this, you will need your two flathead screwdrivers. Now what you want to do is stop one side of the C-clip and then force the other side around with the other flathead screwdriver. Make sure that you're really careful and you're only grabbing that C-clip as much as possible because you don't want to mar the surface of your lower. Now grab that other C-clip, you only need one screwdriver, just go ahead and catch one side and clip that off. Now the next step in this is make sure that your hammer is resting forward because in the firing position your hammer uh, spring will not be able to be removed. So go ahead and rock that forward, put a little bit of pressure on it and you can drop both of your retaining pins and everything else will kind of just fall out. Once everything has been removed, you go ahead and start in the replacement process. And the first step in that is go ahead and take your trigger spring, set that in the front of your lower, then take your trigger, sear disconnect spring, set that just inside your trigger, and your sear disconnect. Now your sear disconnect is going to ride with the moon side on the moon side and your flat edge on your flat edge. Go ahead and place that right in front of your sear disconnect and then you can place your trigger right on top of your trigger spring then kind of hold that in place with your other hand. Now take your retaining spring and guide that through and you want to, sometimes they'll flop right through like that just did, sometimes they'll hang up on this first inside edge and what you want to do in that event is go ahead and press your sear disconnect down and back a little bit and that will allow your retaining pin to slide all the way through. Next, you want to make sure that there's play in your sear disconnect. If there isn't play and it just stops dead, you want to hold it back a little bit and just go ahead and place that spring a little bit farther back, which should give you the proper amount of play for that spring to ride up and down. Next step, we'll be taking your hammer and your hammer spring. Now go ahead and take your hammer spring's loop and ride that right inside the saddle of your hammer. Make sure that your hammer spring eyelets are always facing upwards. If they are facing down, your gun will not fire. So go ahead and place those on, loop in the saddle, and your eyelets facing upwards. Now set your hammer and spring inside of your housing just over your sear disconnect then take your thumb and press down take your other retaining pin slide that into the first side of your spring then you'll take and press down the other side and kind of guide that pin through once it slides through it will make it about three quarters of the way Go ahead and look down into the hole and then just guide that the final step. Now you want to make sure that you test fire your trigger, make sure everything's working properly. And then you can go ahead and put your clips back on to your retaining pins.
set those in place, then use your non-marring block and slide your C-clips right onto your pins and you're finished. Thanks for watching. My name is Sean with TNW Firearms and if you'd like to see more of our videos, please like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.